Pink Sugar probably knows the direction I'm going in. So, yes, Miss Playful, Miss Playful, Miss Playful. Mm -mm -mm. Let me tell you something. Mm -mm -mm. She's on the internet right now, dragging the shit out of another content creator. Pay attention, Jordan. So, I don't know how many of you guys are in the live chat are familiar with a gentleman named Oh So Bossley. He's a gentleman, he's a content creator. He goes around kind of his whole thing. He has a couple of, of things that he do, he interviews and stuff like that. He have open panels. But in my from what I can see from what I watch him the few times that I watch him, he's more about exposing um like gang members and shit like that. I see him yeah. trying to expose um schemo for being a rat. Um, I see him, you know, going at niggas like Wildcat, and he calls out a lot of people for bullshit that they do. He's a, a, like kind of like an exposed artist. There was yeah. a, a young lady on the internet that I spoke about on my show. I think her name is Fanny. Is her name Fanny or some shit? Um, Fanya. Fanya, Fanya. Is, the, is the correct pronunciation. There we go. So there's a young lady on the internet by the name of Fanya that he was exposing another gentleman um, named P, you know, and he is accused of um, molesting her um, or sexual assault, I think, over 10 years ago. Or oh, it's been a while. Yeah. You yes, know 10 years. So I'll say that to say this, right? It's fair game sometimes out here. If this is what you do on the Internet, you're going around exposing people for the things that they've done, be prepared for people to do the same shit to you. That's the name of the game, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. So to be fair... This is public information right now. So Maine the Milkman is not doing sucker shit. He went on Queen's Flip show a few months ago and he told his story about him catching a case of shooting an 11 year old boy. This is public information. Yeah. He shot an 11 year old boy in the chest. And that's him in the picture. If you can look at the screen right now. It says police arrest Elmont teen in connection with shooting in Springfield Gardens, 11 year old boy. Um, this is back when he was 19 years old. He paid his debt to society. He did his bid. But it says a 19 year old Elmont man was arrested Friday morning in connection with a shooting of an 11 year old boy in Springfield Gardens. It says his name Michael P was arrested at his Long Island home at 1.30 in the morning Friday. He was charged with attempted murder, assault, criminal possession of a weapon, shooting, blah, 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 of Tyson Falconer. According to the criminal complaint, 8.30 on December 30th, P, uh, last name P, allegedly walked up to the door of the Faulkner home and rang the doorbell. When Tyson answered, P, which is um, which is um, also Bosley, um, asked, where's your brother, Tony? Before firing once and hitting the boy in the chest, Tyshawn, the 11 year old boy who suffered from a collapsed lung, made his way up the stairs to his parents, who quickly ran to his aid and called 911. Um, Tyshawn, the 11 year old boy, was rushed to Long Island Hospital Medical Center where he was um, listed in critical condition. After spending time, some time in recovery, he was able to give police a sketch artist of a description of his. Uh, assailant. His condition has been upgraded to stable and he is expected to recover. So anyways, long story short, you guys can read this yourself, right? Um, he um, pled guilty. He did his time. Somebody said, yo, Ming, where you going with this? What, what, what's, the, what's going on with this? So <coughs> there's a lady on the internet by the name of Miss Playful. Her and this bossy guy was once really tight on the internet. Um, Miss Playful donated to this man an undisclosed amount of money. And I'm going to assume she donated hundreds of do dollars, maybe even thousands. Because from what I know from Miss Playful history, if she fuck with you, she's going to, you know, put a lot of money in your pockets. Yep. Um, I remember when Bossley left the Queen's Flip interview, the first she called up and was telling him how proud she is of him and all this other shit. It was just, Something I was, she was just like really like you would think that there was like a mother son type relationship. She claims that she supports this guy, she loved this guy. Just a couple of weeks ago, when Bossley was doing the whole um interview with with the young lady um um Fania, um 
I remember her specifically saying to Bosley, oh, you remind me so much of myself. I'm so proud of you and this, that, and the third. And it's so funny how sometimes the tables were turned in life. Now she's on the internet, exposed, like quote unquote, exposing him of some things that he may or may not have done allegedly. The thing about me is I deal with paperwork, right? And proof. But she's making a lot of allegations about this bossly guy saying things like um, he, he, he begged her to pay all his bills. Um, um, he says that um, she even says that he went as far as to ask. She said, she said that bossly asked her, can she buy him a gun to kill YouTubers? Uh, a YouTuber by the name of Stax280 and another YouTuber by the name of um, Wildcat. These are the, this, this lady's on the internet saying this type of shit. Very, very harsh allegations. Pink Sugar, I know you're familiar with the story. And I know we discussed on Behind the Bar of you, your relationship between you and Pink Sugar. What is your thoughts on what Pink, uh, what um, Miss Playful is trying to do to this young man? What's your thoughts on it? My thoughts is um, she's just going to do and say whatever it is that she can to um to make make him miserable you know i believe that she can take some facts and then just exaggerate the rest but because so there's so much fact you know sprinkled in there you don't know what's real and what's not and most people won't even bother to figure that out they're just gonna roll with it and because you know that's her thing she's great with it you know, he, he's he's going to suffer for it, unfortunately. He's going to suffer for it. Okay, that's true. I, and, and I agree with you. Um, And according to her, this is all public information. This is I'm not giving anybody no exclusive news. Um, Pink Sugar, yeah. I said Pink Sugar, Miss Playful is going on a, he call, um, falsely calls it a smear campaign. Um, But like I said earlier, to be objective and be unbiased, what's good for the goose? Is good for the gander. And <clears throat> if, if if Bossley could go around the internet pulling up people's pulling people's cars and 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 calling people out and and he's he's always quick to tell the person to you know drop link to, to, to have the conversation. He will bait other content creators, specifically what I've been seeing. Like I, I see him um get Corey yeah. King. I see him get Corey King to cam up. I see him get um I think if I'm not mistaken I think I saw him do um Mel Cross um uh he was trying to get Hassan Campbell to cam up when he did the Tank Head interview and things like that so that's pretty much his thing you know what I mean so his whole thing is kind of like backfiring on him and according to Miss Playful she is um was threatened by him in a DM you know what I mean if if, he, if she don't if he don't stop. But I would say this. I think Miss Playful was I can believe that. I think Miss Playful was going too far. And I, yeah, I think she's going too far because when he's out there exposed to different people, that's all street politics, I guess you can say. But she's going as far as <clears throat> really trying to ruin his life. Mm. Like she she's going to the authorities or at least having other people go to the authorities and and say things so that's different street shit is street shit but when you trying to go to the authorities that's a whole nother crazy ass level mm, mm. so i and and maybe you can help me with this why is she mad at the nigga how see she keeps making mention that he that he sided with fanya but i don't know what that is because the last thing I knew is they were both siding with her and they were supporting her. I don't know what changed. Oh, wow. But somewhere, somewhere, it sounds like she she's looking at that whole situation differently and expected him to follow suit. And he didn't. That's the only thing that I could gather from it, because she keeps saying that he's siding with her and not her. Let, let me just let me just throw a wrench in there, right? And I'm just gonna ask a, a real random question. Pink Sugar, you are a moderator over there at Bossley's channel. You are yeah. a member of his channel, which means for those that don't know, 
and Sugar gets uh, 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 some money taken out of her account every month to see his exclusive content. So she is a, you know, a real supporter of of, of Bossley, right? Yeah. Uh, uh, do you think by Bossley being cool with you, she sees you in the live chat with his wrench and you a member? Do she think she's doing it to spite you? No. No, because I don't have anything to do with that. And I agree. You know, I, I support people, you know, I support people because I want to support them. When I decide that they're doing something I don't want to support, I won't. Mm. Um, but for the most part, when it comes to moderating, when it comes to moderating other channels, not like this channel or other channels where everyone uses that privilege differently, when it comes to his channel, for instance, all I'm doing is encouraging people to like, share, and subscribe, and I'm giving out the Cash App information. Other than that, you really won't see me commenting about what he's saying. Mm. Wow. That's not what I'm there for, because for the most part, what he's talking about, I don't have nothing to do with. Wow. And I don't, I don't have an opinion. And the one time recently where people were trying to get me to say something, I made it very clear. I don't have anything to say. I'm not going to speak for other people. If somebody got something to say, let them cam up, let them say it. I'm not talking for nobody but me. Wow. Okay. And I keep it that way. And I keep it that way with all the different channels that, that I frequent. <clears throat> What's going on is not my business until it is. But if it's not, I don't have nothing to say. And I, and I respect that. But I will tell you one thing. That shit entertaining as a motherfucker. I'm it is. The edge of my seat. This shit. I'm like, yo, I can't believe she's that petty. But what baffles me is that you know she has some smoke for um you know us and shit like that. But you know she won't respond to us. You know what I mean? She's and she, I mean, it is what it is. I was prepared. You know what I mean for whatever she had to bring. Whatever. <laughs> I was actually anticipating it. I'm actually quite, quite disappointed because I want the smoke. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it is what it is, man. Like, I, I, I wish the best for both parties involved, but I think I was telling you earlier, the part where she went too far is when she put his kids on the screen and shit like that, and I can't... Yeah. I can't. The, baby, the baby screaming, someone needs to go get go save the kids. I'm like, shit. Going too far, and I don't, I don't have anything, I don't have as a father I don't have anything against other fathers having their child on their lap and stuff like that and Me either I think that's some weirdo shit to to even put out there right right, you know, right. My, my father my father loved me and you know if I sat on his lap and I gave him hugs and he loved on me there's absolutely nothing wrong with that facts. if he's kissing on me he's supposed to kiss on me facts facts you know what I mean and that's how you can tell that somebody that grew up with no love, you know what I mean? They grew up, in my personal opinion, with just a bunch of um, hatred in their heart and, and just, just miserable as fuck. You see what I'm yeah. saying? They yeah. never experienced real love. And this is right. why these people go on the internet searching for love for people they never fucking met before. To me, it's a mental illness. It's a sickness to really sit back and think a nigga is her husband that she never met before. To sit yeah. back Hey, oh, Boston, you're like my son that you never met before. You see what I'm saying? So that shows the hypocrisy in some people because all these things that she's talking about this man, saying about this man, she already knew about him. She already knew about those those the, the, his case that he caught with the shooting back in the day. She already knew about it, but she, she chose to turn the other cheek. And whatever else she said about him, she knew about it already. But what did she try to do? She decided to what? Turn the other cheek. You see what yeah. I'm saying? So now yeah. that you're mad at the nigga, now that you're mad at the nigga, all of a sudden, oh, this guy is a bad guy. But wait a minute. All those times you gave him money, all those times you promoted him and shouted him out and showed him love, it, it was okay then, but it's not okay now. Somebody you know, and that, goes, that goes for every single person that she has ever called herself exposing. That was your best friend in a minute, a minute ago. So now you're exposing all this information, but how long have you had this information? Right. So the thing is, you know, how does that make you look that you're walking around with all this information and it's not a problem? Not a problem. Yeah. They have a saying, you want to know how somebody really feel about you? 
go on and piss them off <laughs> yeah. and see what they say and see what they do and see what they try to, you know, ruin your life. You know what yeah. I mean? She, yeah. she, I always use the word troll, but she is beyond a troll. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's, it's, a, yeah, it's a totally different level because, I mean, you know, like, I still haven't seen um the clip that you were talking about where, you know, I'm supposed to be the teacher, you know, and, and even with that, she could say all of that about me. I'm still not going to say I'm I'm not going to say anything because I don't have anything to say. I don't have any kind of built up feeling, secret feeling about her that I'm just waiting for her to say something crazy so I can say something. No, if I had something to say, I'm going to say it. Mm. So even with that little comment, I don't care. Maybe I maybe I am. Oh, OK. All right. Hey, maybe you know? well, maybe you are what she accused you of being a pedophile. That's what she was saying. Right. Right, right. So, so again, okay, so now you said that. How do I feel about it? I don't care. <laughs> I don't right. care. Right, right. You know, so someone who, but at the same time, someone who would respond or, re, or react to comments like that, it's like, what's wrong with you? I How know. unstable are you that you have, you just have to say something back? Right. And you really don't, it's that, especially if it's a lie. You laugh at all. Mm -hmm. And here's the thing. She's accusing him um, of being like a, a junkie, right? But we, we know we know um, her history. We know her history, right? If you go back, uh, Miss Playful, you know, she tells her story of her, who she was back in the day. And for those yeah. that don't know, back in the day, Miss Playful was a fucking hooker. <laughs> she sold her pussy on the streets. This is what she talks about. This is no exclusive news. I used to go on the streets and sell pussy, a hooker, a prostitute, a lady of the night. Am I wrong? Pink sugar? Am I tripping? No. Nope. Oh, making sure nope. I ain't tripping. So it sounds like hypocritical, you know what I mean, for you to be calling this guy. Or, and I'm not defending either one of them, you know what I mean? I'm right. being completely objective. You know, I don't I don't know Bossy. Like, first time I heard of Bossy was when he pulled up to the nigga Ice Cold in your own crib and, and, and they had that scuffle. And that's the first time I heard of the nigga. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Or I should say it's the first time I, I, I watched him. I heard of the boss. Mm -hmm. I never knew who he was. I couldn't put the face to the name. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But I said to say this, you know, you can't be a, a, a hypocrite like, like your life was so perfect and shit like that. She's been through a lot. Um, And for her to make fun of the, the, the lady Fania for allegedly being raped. Yes, that but, was that was too far. But think about the it. Thing, the thing she was saying. But think about it. Wasn't she brutally raped back in the day? Yep. Yep. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Yep. What are we doing here? Exactly. Because, so me as a person that's being a, a, a spectator looking, I can't really... Take even, her... I, I can't co-sign what she's doing. Nope. It's like what they call it, the pot calling the kettle black. You are no, you are no better than him. He's no better than you. Nobody's perfect. I don't right. know... Boss he does on his spare time. I don't know if he's a he from what I can see, even though he's a kind of a wild dude and shit like that. I don't yeah. I don't get junky vibes from the nigga. I don't no. get junky. I get ADHD. I don't get junky. <laughs> break, break that down, Miss Uh Sociologist. Break that down. Um no, I'm just saying, you know, he 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 tends to be, you know, hot head, but not really hot head, it's more scatterbrain, you know. He's just all over the place, and he got a lot of energy. I get, you I, know, there's a, there's a lot of people around here who people are real quick to say that that they on coke or whatever because of the energy level, and that's not what it is. It's natural. Okay, I get. I, I, like I said, you could diagnose him better than I can because you you go through what you go through psychologically as well. But um, I get this immaturity. I think you know because if I'm that's not, true. he's I think he's in his early 30s, and I get like the way he moved is more like. 20 year old 19 20 year old vibes right. you know I mean? and you have to understand that when somebody goes into jail it stops that's what i heard i don't know i heard about that they don't they don't age mentally or or physically i heard it that's stops. what I heard. so then when they get out they they starting back up so if if you gone 15 years yeah yeah wow. <laughs> you're behind wow. you know and they call that like being kind of like institutionalized too sometimes and shit like that. You've been in so long to the point where you kind of, you know. That's different. Institutionalized is, is a little different. 
But um, but yeah, that's what it is. Because when you go in, that's it. There's no development. They they call it rehabilitation, but it's not. They're not doing anything for you. Mm. So so you know that that growth stops. Mm. Okay. So when you yeah, so when you get out, not to say that if you, if you go in at, at 20 and you get out at 40, you still 20, but you're not going to be nowhere near where you're supposed to be because you haven't been exposed to anything. You haven't you haven't gotten any of that experience. So you don't you don't know. OK. All right. Well, with that being said, I, I finally found a clip I've been looking for for like fast. <clears throat> Shout out to Pink Sugar. Huh? Pink Sugar graduated from Shaw University. Let's see the clip right here. I'm about to put her on blast. She ain't always on. Wow. Delaney R. Echevarria. Woo! 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 Yeah, right. <laughs> Woo! Hey. <laughs> <laughs> 